Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some things that I got for Christmas um, and things that I bought with Christmas money. All of these are art supplies, of course, this being an art channel. Um, and I just wanted to share with you my first thoughts, basically, uh, what I intend to do with them and just sort of, I guess, chat with you for a while. So. I got a lot of neat stuff. Um, the first is one of these that I got from my partner's parents. And basically what this is, is it's a sketchbook made from wood. Uh, so it's a wood sheet of memo notes, which I thought was really interesting. I have no idea how this is going to sort of react to different medium. Um, and you can see it's sort of like splitting here, but look how thin it is. Like, it's just like paper. Like, <laughs> it's so thin. So maybe that'll be super cool. Um, it would be cool to like do something on here and then glue it in my sketchbook or glue it in there to start and then, and then work on it later. Um, it's just got a really neat finish. Uh, probably will also be pretty good with gouache or acrylic gouache. So this is from Lee Valley. And it's really neat and nice and like no no artificial dyes, no bleaching, nothing like that. You know, it's very natural. Uh, and I like the look of it with like the craft paper and that. So that'll be neat to try out. Oh, what's this? A couple other things that I picked up. Um, whoop, come on, come on. All right. So I just picked up some brushes um, just to replenish my my stash. I still need more brushes than this. I've been sort of lacking fresh brushes for a while and also neglecting to paint generally unless, you know, I'm doing it for a job, which, you know, I've got a couple jobs on the go. But anyway, I got those and I also got this cute pink pen um, that I want to use for drawing. So got those there. Let's see if we can get them not to roll away. There. I also picked up some oil-based printing ink here in black. Um, a long time ago I picked up this violet and brown so that I could mix them, but all, all I really want was black and I finally found black in a store. So now I have that um, and I picked up, let's see, a little squeegee to, to help me out and a couple replacement nibs for my uh, little lino cutting majiggy here and a few more just bits of lino um, I got actual linoleum sometimes there's easy cut stuff um, and uh, you can also get wood blocks and things but I find this is a nice like medium denseness uh, for for cutting on and stuff so I think this will preserve the lines pretty well um, we'll see I haven't done lino cut in years to be perfectly honest but you know, I bought myself some stuff with the intent of actually doing it. <laughs> I picked up a cute little bit of washi tape here. It just has little birds on it. I think it just says like, be happy, like someone, or a liar someone, which would be not quite English, but yeah, it's it's cute. It's uh, just some little tape, and that's from In Feel Me. <laughs> it's a cute little box, too. I also picked up a couple more colors from Stoneground Paint Co., which is a company that I really like. I like their watercolors a lot. So I got Indian Throne Blue, mostly because Denise of In Liquid Color talks about Indian Throne Blue quite a fair bit on her channel and I've never actually owned any of it. So there we go, Indian Throne Blue and uh, Mayan Green, which is a really nice sort of Viridian type color. I also picked up this sketchbook, which is a Holbein watercolor sketchbook. It's got a cute little tie on the side and I'll show you sort of what the paper texture is like. I like the format of this and I like that it's quite thin. Um, 
Usually spiral bound is not my thing, but I was just really intrigued by it being Holbein, and I really like the, the texture of the paper. Ooh. Ooh, camera didn't like that. But anyway, you can kind of see it. Ooh, you can see it there. I like the texture on there. So I'll give that a try. And of course, you can see the price on, on a lot of these. Um, the sketchbooks are a bit up there in price, but I also like often just work on like dollar store sketchbooks. So my taste for quality uh, really depends on what I'm doing with them. <laughs> and I also got this cute little sketchbook here with crows on the front from crowartist.co.uk. Um, they have an Etsy store as well. And it's just filled with some nice sort of recycled paper on the inside. Um, and yeah, just like super cute. I don't know if they produce these themselves or what, but um, I just really liked the illustration on the front uh, and can't wait to put some stuff inside. And then another one that I got here is a less expensive watercolor sketchbook. So it's called uh, Authentic Book from SMLT Art. It's very neat and like the barcode, it has like trees growing out of it. It's pretty cute. So we'll open this up and see what it's like. Oh, that's neat. So the the elastic is actually attached to a bookmark um, and it said it's made by the carrying hands in the center of Europe. Some covers and paper inside are natural made from recycled materials. For this reason colors and textures of paper and covers may vary and age like all of us. So that's cool and it's got very neat paper inside. It's much smoother, more of a cold press look. And a really nice binding on the on the inside. So yeah, I really like this too. Made in the EU. Hey, what's this? Oh, they're on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Sweet. It's got a cat on it. <laughs> Super cool. So yeah, that's some of the new stuff that I got, and I think we'll try some of it out. Maybe I'll put on some music.
Hmm, so that's the pen on that wood paper. I'll try some of the watercolor, perhaps. That's, that's sort of neat. It's got a bit of a resist quality to it and it's bleeding a fair bit. Um, let's see how the gouache goes on. This is just some cobalt blue acrylic gouache. So this is the acrylic version, not the water soluble version. Or water based, I should say. See, that behaves much better. I think that the plastic um, polymers in the acrylic wash sort of resist the wood enough. Um, you can see how the, the watercolor is just sort of like going into it, but the acrylic wash stays on the top. And let's try some pencil. Doesn't really take to pencil that well. Let's try pencil crayon. Here's a green pencil crayon. Yeah, also quite a bit of a resist quality on there. So, I don't know, the wood itself is a little bit waxy um, and it's very sort of shiny in some places and not shiny in other places. So I'm not too surprised that uh, you know, it's behaving like this. I mean, the pencil kind of has a nice quality to it, but it smudges a lot too. I think, I mean, like ballpoint pen and stuff would be really good on here. I'm making such a mess. This looks like, you know, um, in art stores and they have like a sample tester page. This is what this looks like. I can write like... <laughs> What else do I have kicking around on my desk? I've got a, a pen from Le Pen here. That one's not too bad. And I've got a Tombow brush pen. That one's also not too bad, but I can kind of tell that the ink is staying on the surface. Um, you know, which is all, all fine. Uh, not too surprised. Let's try a Blackwing. These are one of the best, I think, drawing pencils. That one's okay, actually. So I feel like I feel like what you would want to use with this is paint, like acrylics or acrylic wash, um, or like markers or charcoal. I don't know. That's just my idea. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to use some of this in my sketchbook, maybe even just for collage, because um, it's kind of neat. But yeah, I'd say that the acrylic gouache so far is the best, and perhaps priming with acrylic gouache and then going in with something else, maybe that would work. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's wood. It's not, <laughs> it's not paper. It's not going to act like paper. Um, but it's still a really cool thing, like a super cool gift. I didn't even know they made this. Like, look how pretty it is. Ah! <laughs> I think it would be fun to try out both of these at the same time, so I'm going to use this Ind and Throne Blue here. And this is the Holbein one on the top, and the uh, SMLT art on the bottom. Ooh, yeah, that paper is really cool. Yeah, I like that texture a lot. And this one here. 
much more smooth. Here, I'll zoom you in a bit. Yeah, so you can see the difference there in the the texture and the way that the granulation is happening. So obviously it's hardly happening on the bottom because the paper is quite smooth, but up here, like, this texture is so nice. I'm really glad that I picked up this book. I haven't seen, like, I don't know, such a scaly texture in a sketchbook in a while. I find often that the texture is very mechanical. And this is a little bit mechanical, like you can see lines on it, but I don't know, man, that just looks super cool. I think that the bottom sketchbook will be really nice for watercolor pencils and also for gouache. I think I'll use this one for gouache quite a bit. Ooh, that's fun. Whoosh. But the top one is like a wonderful watercolor book, I think anyway, like just for like pure watercolor, like really quick studies and stuff. That's going to be super nice. And this pen is nice too. I really like the, the sort of thin to thick that you can get with it. And also I just love that it's pink. Like obviously this one came in a lot of colors, but I, I picked pink. <laughs> I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's water soluble. Let's see. Not really. If I scrub enough, I can sort of get it to blend out a bit, but it's pretty much on there. Ha, huh. well. Anyway, I think I like all of that stuff. Here's the, um, the swatch with the Mayan green on it. Just for reference. Gosh, the dogs outside are going nuts. A little bit of the Mayan green there. And a little bit of it up there. Ooh, that's nice. Well, I can't wait to put these new supplies through the ringer um, and see what I can make with them. But until next time, have a great week, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!